open, please? I wanted to talk about a book that I've been reading. Now, I'm a chosen man, and I'm a vital man to read books. And I sit and learn, I'm a bit terrible when I read books. But uh, when I lie in bed, when I go to sleep, so I read sometimes. There's a new book from modern professors that its name is Hagedolim, the name of the book. Eh? And the subtitle is Ishim Sheitzvu, Personalities That Shaped the Pnei Hayadus HaKharedis Israel that they shaped the face of the Yadus HaKharedis in, in Eretz Israel. I think they mean Eretz Israel. I don't know if Israel means Eretz Israel or either the world, I don't know. Anyway, first of all, I, I want to say I, I don't like it, the whole um, calling us uh, this, this group uh, Yadus HaKharedis, I don't like because we're the we're the authentic Jews, like it always was. Yeah, yeah, we we are the authentic. We're living like the authentic Jews in all generations. What does it mean? So you might say that at once uh, people used to go to work more. Now there's colors. Okay, good. So there's one difference. But what does it mean? Yeah, there's a charades. I mean, it sounds to the outsider, to the outsider, when you talk about such a thing. A certain group of a certain type of people that are so much different than us, and you call them the charades. What what are we so different? Uh, you're the ones that are, anybody who's different than us is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oversimplifying. I'm oversimplifying. True. I mean, there's some idiot in the in the outside world, and I met two of them. They come from California. And they're they're not on this world anymore. That they had a, a, a phrase they used to use. It's called oversimplifying. That means you say something which is short, a short uh, sentence about something. Let's say, for example, that somebody said, I mean, it happened at a Sheva Brachos that, that somebody, uh, the Chosen, spoke many years ago. And he said at Vartara about the sugi of Dam Neka Venasa Cholov. The blood that changes and turns into milk, from there comes the milk of the woman. So this uh, Moritz Gomor, which was the father of the Kalu, so he he didn't know Hebrew, so he asked, well, what's he talking about? So, so somebody told him that he's talking about how blood turns into milk. So he said, oh, that's an oversimplification. So the, so the one sitting next to him was a, a very uh, patient person, I may be. So he told him, uh, it, it, it sounds oversimplified, but but it's, uh, they didn't tell us what experiments they made and how they reached that conclusion. They just told us the conclusion, so it sounds like oversimplifying, but, uh, but it's not oversimplifying. Anyway, but getting back to that subject, to say that we're the authentic Jews, it's oversimplifying. I don't care, let it be oversimplifying. It could still be true. Somebody will say, well, when the sun sets, it becomes dark outside, and that's what makes it night. So the other one will say, oh, that's an oversimplification. The sun sets, it becomes dark, and that makes it night. Of course, I mean, so what? Yeah, right, it's oversimplification, but it's uh, but it's true. Anyway, so this name of this book is The Personalities That Shape the Yadus HaKharedis Bishra. What, what do you mean? The, those that shape the Yadus HaKharedis Bishra. The Torah shaped the Yadus HaKharedis. Now, you can definitely find things that the Yadus HaKharedis is not doing Torah, I mean, uh, that some people dominate after his month filler, they're not doing things Torah, the Yadus HaKharedis. Or, or, I don't know, other things. But uh, we're 
the the situation with Tzniyas in the in the Yadus Acharedis needs a lot um, a lot of tikkun in some places, but but that still these people are still the Yadus Acharedis just because the Hr got into them that doesn't mean they're not the 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 well, the, the others, I mean, what's the difference between a Haredi and a not Haredi? I mean, how do you define a Haredi? Does it mean that he dresses a certain way? Maybe. That could be. And and if so, that answers my question, what makes a Haredi be a Haredi? Because he dresses a certain way and the others, that, that makes him a Haredi. That could be. Again, oversimplification. And again, but maybe that's the, that's the way it is. But um, I would define a Haredi, a group that takes the Torah very seriously above everything else in life. And no matter what he does in his everyday life, he knows it's only a tofel to his Torah and mitzvahs. He works, it's only in order that he should be able to keep Torah and mitzvahs and Mima Hanukkah's children. That's a Haredi. And yet, in the last generations, there became groups that are called the Tim Lumi. That by then, it became a situation where, where there are other things in the world besides Torah. Lately, in the last Kufu, they became Haredim Lumiyim, which is, they are, these are people that are medactic, I don't know them from close, but that's what it seems to me. I have quite a few times in a minion of theirs in Kiryat Moshe, recently even, Friday night, and and I see they daven seriously, they seem to take Yiddish Kate seriously. And what makes them different than Haredim? Not too much. <laughs> Only thing is, they're Haredim, but Lumiim. They believe that Medina is a is 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 a is a a main part of of our life. It's it's it takes part. It's something to to respect, to have their hearts for, to have covered for, to look at it as something. Um, ab- uh, h- higher than our, uh, than us. I mean, and 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 we say that Medina Israel is a uh, group of people that made laws and didn't give the Torah any place in these laws. They made a, g- a government to be run according to Gaishka laws which is bad, rishis, ra, shluchim of the sotan, sholosh klipos at meyus, the darkness, the darkest kufa in, in, in Jewish history, in a certain, in a certain respect, in a certain begin, of course, begashmias, baruch Hashem, we have, we have it good, and we're living in Eretz Yisrael, and we there is what to be thankful to the Israeli government for for making roads and there's a bus system and and we can live here. But that still doesn't mean that <coughs> that's in Lumiyu to having a Medina and having a government is a good thing because that's based on Ra. And the Datim Lumiim believe in which means in English nationalism. Okay, so what? But but that it it, it doesn't. It? And you can go deeper and deeper into understand to trying to understand does it express itself in the everyday life or not? But hey, I mean, hey, I see some of them. They they look like true B'nai Torah the way they. The way, uh, the way they look on the outside, the the adinus, the edelkeit on their faces, and and their wives dressed in this thing. Okay, so that's what the difference between a Haredi and a not Haredi. Now, but but what shaped the 
Shady World, the, the taking her and Yiddish kid is seriously not and and uh, and and making it the the eager of life now. So those people are called Haredim, Lumiim, because they're also the same thing in this sense. Now the so 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 what do you mean this who shaped it? On the other hand, I do understand what they mean when they when they're writing this book. It's it's a group of professors um, that are writing, uh, doing uh, research on the Tzibura Haredi. So I can understand on the other hand what they're saying because we are living in the Tkufa after the Holocaust. After the Holocaust, it's like a new world, a new. Uh, a new, a, a, a new, uh, a Claudius, a Claudius has been, has been renewed, has started over again. This is not the Yiddish case. This is not the same Tzura that was in Europe, in Eastern Europe before the war. It is a new world, and, and we did need it definitely. I uh, mean, it, it was sent down to this world, to this Tkufa, in Eretz Yisrael, a Chazanish and a Briskerov. And we can't just say that it just happened, Chaz Rishon, to say it's a Mikra. It's definitely... <coughs> they, these people were very big as individuals, but besides being individuals, they were also sent down to this door and this to to shape, or I would use a better word, to guide the Yadis Acharedis in Eretz Yisrael after the Holocaust. And besides being after the Holocaust, there was another problem that Yadis Acharedis faced, which is the problem of Zionism, which was Zionism is definitely a tumor. And to worship Zionism, to celebrate Zionism, to celebrate that one day of the year, hey year, and say hello on that day, means saying, how did Hashem Kitov, that the Rishoyim were successful in schmatting up thousands and thousands of people, children. The, the Rishoyim were successful in creating uh, uh, educational system where Torah and Yiddishkeit has no place in it. And they created a matzah where there's thousands of children that don't know what Shmai's royal is. That they thousands of children that don't know who the Chofetz Chaim was, who was the Gro, who was the Baal Shem Tov, who were who are they? Who was Moshe Rabbeinu? I don't even know if they know. And and they 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 made they made this match. And somebody that can say hello and say Hodu Lashem Kitov on such a shmad like that, it definitely will have an influence on his Yiddish guy the whole year round. So these Gedalim, the Briskov and the Chazanish, made sure to warn the Tzibur, to tell the Tzibur what's going on here. Which we could have known it ourselves also. Yeah, right. To know that the Rishoim are Rishoim, I don't think you need not a Chazanish and not a Briskov. But yet... To know that what the Rishoim created is treif, I don't know how we would have, or, or, even if we knew about it, it would have been miskar, we could be called towards it, we could not take it so seriously. So the G'dali Olam, they guided and they shaped that the Yadis HaCharedis is not influenced from the Tuma of Zionism that was here in the beginning of the Medina. And... Uh, Rabbi Kaplan, we'll take a break now, thank you.